Hello, boys and girls. Let me introduce myself. My name is Mrs. Foose, and I am one of the teachers here at Congregational Preschool, except this year, I am teaching from my home. Oh, someone, someone's kind of coming to say hi to you, I think. Oh, that's very friendly, little mouse. Oh, what if he wants to tell you that his name is Little Mouse. And there's a language he kind of likes to talk in sometimes, Spanish. And he wants to say to you, hola, which means hello. Hola. Oh, Little Mouse, you're so much fun. Oh. Sure, go right ahead. Little Mouse has something he wants to show you. Oh my goodness, Little Mouse. <laughs> what is that that you have there? He wants you to be able to see it better. Oh, it's a pumpkin, boys and girls. I bet you might be learning about pumpkins at preschool. It's October, and that's a really good time to talk about pumpkins because Halloween is coming up. Well, Little Mouse has a small pumpkin right here. Okay, Little Mouse, but I don't think you can carry this one by yourself. Let's see. Oh, he's trying, but oh my goodness. You can hardly see Little Mouse. This is a big pumpkin. Well, you're probably wondering where we got these pumpkins from, I bet. And I have a little story for you that will tell you where we get pumpkins. The story is called Duck and Goose Find a Pumpkin. So as you listen to my story, I want you to see if you can figure out where Duck and Goose find their pumpkin. This is Thistle. Nice pumpkin, Thistle. Yes, it is. I want a pumpkin too. Let's go find one. Is our pumpkin in the log, Goose? No. Is our pumpkin in the leaf pile, Duck? No. Is our pumpkin in the apple tree, Goose? No. Is our pumpkin under the water duck? No. Is our pumpkin on top of the stump goose? No. Have you tried the pumpkin patch, said Thistle? The what? Oh, look at that. We sure know how to find a pumpkin duck. Wow, that looks just like the big one we just looked at. And they did go to a place called the pumpkin patch. Maybe you'll go to a pumpkin patch this year. That would be fun. Well, since Little Mouse taught you how to say hola in Spanish, I thought it might be fun to learn how to say pumpkin in Spanish. In Spanish, we call a pumpkin a calabaza. Maybe you could say it with me, calabaza. And because 
this pumpkin is orange, we could use the word anaranjada, and, which means orange. So we could say, la calabaza es anaranjada, which means the pumpkin is orange. We could also say that this pumpkin is pequeña, which means small. Este calabaza es pequeña. And este calabaza es grande. Can you guess what grande means? I bet you know it's big. So now you know the Spanish word for pumpkin, calabaza. Well, oh, little mouse is coming back. I wonder what he's, little mouse, what, what is it? Oh, he's excited to tell you some things that you can do with a pumpkin. What's your favorite thing to do with a pumpkin, little mouse? Oh, he likes to put faces on pumpkins, eyes and nose and mouth. But do you know what my favorite thing is? My favorite thing is to eat pumpkin. There are so many things you can make out of pumpkin that I like. But now that reminds me that I do have another short story about pumpkins. Little Mouse, would you like to listen to this one? He would. So I'm gonna have Little Mouse sit down and show you my next book, which is called Jack. And I know Jack would be a funny name for a pumpkin, but if you make a face on a pumpkin, it turns into something we call a jack-o'-lantern. And you can make a, a face on a pumpkin with markers, to draw it on or you can cut a face onto a pumpkin using a knife. But for that, you do need a grown up. But let me show you the jack-o'-lanterns in my book. So the book is called Jack and here's the first one. This is Jack O'Happy. So he made a happy face on this one. This is Jack O'Sad. Ooh, now you see him sleepy. And now you see him mad. Here is Jack cut in pieces small. Do you know why? Because in a pie, he's best of all. Yum. And that's the end of this story. So now I'll teach you how to say it without the book. You can just make some faces and some actions. You can pretend that you're a jack-o'-lantern and somebody made a face on you. So let's do the first one. This is jack-o'-happy. This is jack-o'-sad. Oh, now you see him sleepy. Now you see him mad. But here is Jack, cut up in pieces small. Because in a pie, he's best of all. Yum, yum. So I hope you can learn that. That would be a fun one to go home and teach your family. So remember, a pumpkin in Spanish is a calabaza. All right, I think Little Mouse wants to come and say goodbye. You wanna say goodbye, Little Mouse? What? Oh, well, since he said hola for hello, he wants to say adios, because that's how you say goodbye in Spanish. So adios, boys and girls, and I sure hope I can come and teach you some new things again. Adios. <laughs>